Next question is from Marie in Motion. What are some social media tips for personal trainers wanting to demonstrate their process to their followers as Adam did? Mm. So what are, you, what are they referring to here? Um, I think they're referring to my transformation the whole journey, right? So documenting, oh. maybe that's what they mean by process. Like um, trying to show it in an authentic way or? Oh, yeah. I yeah, so. well, I, yeah, I think that. Um, although, here, so I talk about this um, when I get on podcasts like with other trainers and, they, and, and one of the questions I've been asked uh is if you had to start all over again, Mind yeah. Pump doesn't exist, yeah. and you turn on your Instagram and you were to start building your you know, online presence, what would you do? Or would you do anything different? Or what would it look like? And I, I say, yeah, it would look a lot different than what I did. You know, what I originally did, I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. I was taking pictures of my cars, my shoes, anything to get eyeballs on me. And that was like, I was just trying to get attention because I didn't know what to do yet. Uh, looking back and now what I've learned of building a presence on social media, I would have actually done it uh, completely different. And as a trainer, what I would do is I would I would cater to my people in person. So the the clients that I'm training, even if that's one or two people, that's it. it doesn't matter. Like or if I've got 20 clients, however many clients you have, the content I'm going to put on any Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube is all going to cater to my in person clients. And what I mean by that is. I trained Susie at eight o'clock this morning. Uh, Susie was complaining of knee pain. So we foam rolled her IT. We did some hip mobility stuff and we got to the bottom of it and it had something to do with her instability in her hips and us working on the mobility alleviated some of the pain, right? And so I would create a post that speaks to that exact thing, mm. right? So one, now my client Susie has a reference. Oh, that was that thing that Adam taught me that I'm supposed to do when my knee starts bothering. Other people can relate to it. That's right. Yeah. And then other people that may also be experiencing the same thing can get use from it and maybe see benefit. And now I look like I know what I'm talking to those those people that need that specific help. And now I'm attracting the perfect client for me. Yeah. And so I would continue to make posts that are related to what I'm already currently going through and then and what I'm learning. So if I, maybe a client says something. Uh, that I'm, I'm not familiar with this has some sort of condition that I've never trained before. And I go, I'm not sure. Let me find out for you. I go home. I start, you know, Google searching and looking up and trying to research what is going on and how can I help this person and I'll probably learn something, whatever it is that I learn, I then make that into a post or a YouTube video or something to, again, compliment them now, and then grow. Something you did though, I want to give you a little bit of credit because um, I know obviously when we all started, we kind of just threw things up and you were the first one really to, to do that. But something you did do that I thought was uh, very different and very brilliant in the sense that it would stick today just like it did back then was you were very, you were not always trying to be super flattering and whatever in your posts. In other words, you would post these progress pictures of yourself. Oh. You wouldn't get a pump. You weren't posing. You weren't trying to have the best lighting. You used your bathroom mirror flat. You took the picture. You were very honest about your diet, what you're doing. You were so honest to the point where when you got close to competition, I think it was like the three weeks or something or the two weeks before you said, now I'm entering into, because I'm going to tell you guys what I'm doing. Yeah. I'm going to be very honest, but this is the unhealthy stage. Nothing that I'm doing now is, un is healthy. Yeah. Up until this point, I've done everything in a healthy way, but in order to look stage ready, there's things that I have to do that are unhealthy. And you were very honest about what you did, how you, you know, you know, modified your water and your sodium stuff that you would never recommend to the average person. That I think was really cool. And I, th and what it, what it would, at least for me, cause this is before this, we started mind pump, but we weren't super, we didn't know each other super well. I remember seeing that kind of stuff and going, I would follow him because I know he's honest. Genuine. He's, yeah. He's not bullshitting. Me. Well, that, well, I think that's that, the hard part about the whole thing is because all you see is like a disingenuous uh, post of people trying to lift themselves up in their best self. And yeah. then also like, you know, when, when they're having a bad day, they'll cry and they'll take a picture of them crying. Oh my God, what is that? It just drives me crazy yeah. because it's just like... It, Have you ever thought to take a picture of your face when never, you're crying? Never, No, Nobody ever would. That's a real person, <laughs> right? And so Let alone That's all it. you see though is like know. these... Well, I have to capture this because my followers think, you know, they think in this with these weird, this weird distorted reality of like what I need to portray. Just portray, like you said, there's, there's uh, things that you can notice in your clients that you're training that people can yeah. learn from and find value from or yourself 
uh, you know, that you've been able to understand, you know, more in depth or something that you can relay that has value to people. That's what you need to do. Stop with this whole like glorifying, uh, uh, you know, how you look or, 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 or projecting yourself in some be, weird, inauthentic way. Yeah, be authentic. And I think what you guys are referring to, what you see now, because when I did that, by the way, like I wasn't aware of anybody else. That's what made me do that, right? So I, when I looked at all the other people that were showing before and afters, and, and I like right away, I'm like, oh, this this guy, I could tell he's pumped up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I could tell he's got some professional light on him. I could tell he's shooting with a great camera. And I'm like, that doesn't really give us an idea of what, what his body's really changing or doing. And so- my idea when I did that it was original then. It's not so original now. Now everybody's figured this out that, oh, wow, be more real and be more trend to the point where people are trying to manufacture authenticity, right? And that's yeah. what you see with the, oh, let me take a picture of my popular. So yeah, let me take a picture of my period stain yeah. and show people I'm human too and I have my period. Or, oh, let me, I'm crying and I'm sad. Let me get my phone and record that now. This is me being authentic and vulnerable. It's like, no, it's not. Like, this is you trying to manufacture mm -hmm. authenticity. If it's real, it'll just be real. Be yourself be real, be vulnerable. And what, what vulnerable looks like, I think, from a, a trainer's perspective is is not knowing and being comfortable with that and being yeah. okay with this and presenting yourself like that, that this is something I just learned. Like, that's how I, I when yeah. I coach trainers that are up and coming that are new, that are nervous, like, I don't know very much or I'm still, that's okay. Like, present that. I always Say give, that even. Yeah, I always give that it's analogy like of the, the waitress, refreshing right? Refreshing to hear that from when you go When you go to a restaurant and a waitress comes over and she says, Today's my first day, so bear with me. I'm le still learning the menu. Yeah. What ends up happening? You're inc you're incredibly patient, and in fact, what you end up doing is you you look at like, oh man, she did a good job on that, considering it's her first day. Mm -hmm. You like give her the benefit of the doubt because it's her, her first now. versus her pretending mm -hmm. like she knows everything or she's been doing this forever, and then she fucks up on your order and she fucks up yeah. on this, and then you're pissed because she portrayed that she'd been doing this forever when really it's her first day. Same thing goes as a personal trainer. If you're still learning all this stuff, it's okay for you to be transparent and say like, man, some great information that I just learned and credit the person you probably learned from and teach it and share it with your audience. You'd be surprised how well that will do. It's so yeah. bad that I remember, I'm not going to say too much. I don't want to give away. I don't want to try and crap on this person, but I remember this is a popular social media fitness influencer and we were in this place and around them in, in a gym with them, whatever. And they worked out and I watched their workout while I'm working out and checking it out and like, Oh, okay, that's cool. They do that, whatever. Then they posted their workout and the volume that they posted in the, in the post was twice as high as what they did in the actual workout. And the weights that they said that they did were not the same at all. I'm like, what are you doing? You're not helping anybody by doing that. And what's funny yeah. is that the mentality is, this is going to build my business. Actually, it's not because people start to get onto it. They don't believe you anymore. But if they think you're authentic and It'll real and honest, you. then if you try to sell something, they're going to be like, oh, I believe this person. They're not full of crap, you know? So it's it's funny because we think being fake is more effective. It's actually not. Not only that, but I can't think of a worse hell to be in yeah. than to actually be successful being fake. Could you imagine all these people oh, loving you people like this and adoring you yeah. for who you're not. Yeah. That would be a terrible most, feeling. You get a bit of a anxiety ridden people I've met. You get a bit of a false signal with the whole likes and comments game, yes. you know, and the way the algorithm is, it works, right? The algorithm, it like, it gives you, gets you higher ranked on like explore page yeah. when you get more likes, more comments and more traction on there. And so people tend to do things that's going to give them more attention and attraction. doesn't necessarily mean they're going to give them more business. And I learned that the hard way, like through the process of turning this all on, like that, that's when I first did, I didn't knew nothing of what I was doing. And I was like, I was just watching what other people are doing. Like, Oh, okay, cool stuff. I see people doing yeah. cool shit and I'm cool. Like, okay, here's my cool car. Here's my cool shoes. It's like getting likes and little hearts and like, okay, I'm on the right track. Plant emojis. Yeah. So I've got, you know, I'm getting, I'm starting to get thousands of people paying attention to me, but I'm not seeing the conversion to dollars in business because they're there for my cool shoes or my car yeah. or because I look good with my shirt off. Like they weren't there because I could help them and I'm in the business of helping people. And so you got to be careful not to fall in the trap of trying to feed the algorithm to get attention, but it has, it, it, it's not what you do for people. Yep. If you have a service that you're trying to provide, then that's where I would, I would post along those lines. And I learned that the hard way over years of trying to figure the, this whole thing out. And so if I were to go back and do it again, I would not 
post nearly as much. I would post it, when I learned something it's or like when that I go girl that something. had, what did she have, 2 million followers launched a t-shirt line? Yeah, like 30 shirts like, or yeah, something. like $100, something yeah. like that. Like, great example. Hey, if you enjoyed that clip, you can find the full episode here or you can find other clips over here. And be sure to subscribe.